on this occasion from 1-0 uh, down you couldn't, you couldn't find the goal no that's right it was a tight game 0-0 at half time which has uh, been the same in all five games it's a bit of the club you know which I was delighted with Exeter are a very good side you know you can see why they're you know in the playoff area and I thought I thought we contained them really well I think other than the the one that hit the bar which was a piece of class they never really hurt us so I was it was it was tough in the sense that we lost Matty so early the captain and then we lost Hanks in the middle so we had to change but the boys that come on you know they, they done really well and we was a lot more positive it's the best we've used the ball and I would say that's our best performance since I've been at the club. You had the ball in quite a number of promising positions but maybe just the final ball was a bit... Uh, a bit well that's, it was the final ball, the final shot which is the toughest thing in football but I've got loads to be positive about. Like I say, I, you know, I'm not someone that's going to kid myself, you know, we've had three draws and a defeat in the league and I think that's our best performance. I thought we looked dynamic, I thought we had lots of legs and it's the final, it's the final part now. I said to the players, there's nothing to be disappointed about other than the, the result. Okay, so the, and, the, and the goal on the day is took a wicked deflection. Um, I thought it just crept in, but I just looked at it. It's took a, we're in good balance, good shape. The lad's gone to cross it, and it's come off of uh, young Jack Studs and crept in the corner. So I can't be critical. I'm, I'm very pleased with the performance. That, like I say, that we've, uh, we've given today against a good side. Yeah, it did look a bit of a, a soft goal. And it, yeah, it's a deflection. I mean, you can't see from here. I thought it was a soft goal. I'm thinking, how did that creep in? But when you look at it, it comes off. Trevor's got it covered. And it comes off uh, Jack Studs and, and and does him. And probably, you know, Paul won't mind me saying, that's maybe a little bit of luck you get when you're that end, OK, at the, the, the table. And the, and you don't, you know, when, when you're sort of where we are, you know. But look, Exeter, you know, when you win, you deserve it. OK, I'm not taking nothing away, but... I think we got in enough good positions today to give us a lot of uh, a lot of uh, hope for the future. Just that missing bit of quality now. Is it? Yeah, of course, of course it is. Yeah, it's belief. You know, we got it. You know, Terry Gunnell uh, had loads of the ball today. You know, lots of good positions. Amari looked dangerous. I thought Zach, Zach did great when he came on in the wide area. Midfield worked tirelessly. And like I say, we looked we looked like we had a lot of legs. And as I say, you know, clear cut chances. We, we really did limit limit Exeter today to clear cut chances, and I thought our plan worked well. I thought tactically we were correct, and we were right. And as I say, it's been a deflection that's uh, that's cost us. We had to make those two substitutions early on. Do we know how Joe and Matty are? Now? Well, for M Matty's is a hamstring, so hopefully we've caught it, you know, quite early, so he's not going to be out for a number of games because you saw today how important he is to us. And I, you know, I thought we looked very, very solid and assured with that shape and that lineup. And then to lose Hanks as well, you know, you look, you've lost two of your defensive-minded players. And in the end, you know, we had a, we had a lot of attacking players on the field. You know, when you've got you've got Rafa, Kane, Ferdinand, you've got Richards, Sack, and Amari across your middle. You know, that's a home lineup, not somewhere where you're going to the team that's in the playoffs. But I thought we looked good. I thought it's the best we've passed the ball. It was looking more and more like what, what I want to see and I want the players to take a lot of relief from it. You only had then one substitution left yeah. in which to change the game. Maybe a bit of surprise that you chose to put Harry on ahead of Byron. No, not really. I don't see that one myself. I think Harry's a very good player. Just for, because with Byron being your, your leading scorer and we just felt maybe you the confident. I decided Harry and it's no, there's no more in it. You know, I get to see the players every day of the week. And I thought he looked dangerous when he came on. I thought he looked good. I thought he, uh, his work ethic was good, and that's what I'm looking for. Now, going to Newport, and the, you know, the game's coming thick and fast now. Yeah, of course they are, and that's what we want. When, when, when we're like this, and I can see, today there was a real belief about the players before the game. It was, it was the best atmosphere in the dressing room that I sensed, because I said to you all, when I come, it was quiet. It was, it was a real quiet down place. It's not a quiet down place now. It's an energised place, and I'm 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 sad for the players. I'm gutted for the players, and they've got something for for their efforts today because I actually think we deserve something. Do you feel now you've been here for, for five games, and you feel that you now know the squad, and you, you now know the ones going forward that you, well, you, you want to base your team on? No, I, I, I wouldn't say I know the squad completely. I think that would be unfair. Five, four league games. You know, forget the cup now. They're talking about the league. 
It's three draws and a defeat at a team that's in the playoff places um, and a narrow defeat. And I think the players are improving. I've got, a, a, I've got to say, I think all the players are improving. And um, you know, that was that was the, that was the first thing I had to do when I come in, see some improvements. And I think we have seen improvements. Everyone's disappointed when you lose, but as long as I can see that work rate, I, I was chatting with some supporters before the game, and they just said, all we all we want is hard work and effort. Of course, it wins in the end, but wins don't come unless you've got a real honest team, a team that's willing to, you know fight for the cause, die for the cause, and I think we've, we're, we're getting there now. You feel that you're getting really good hard work? I do, that. well look, 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 I've just said, five, five nil nils at half time, I'd have took that before I come in, all day long, and then, you know, it's been very, very tight, very tight, we're not just going to go from losing like we were to winning, doesn't happen, but today I can see on that performance, if we keep that performance, then performance levels, we'll start to win games. Do you know where you want to go in January, position-wise, in uh, areas of the team? No, I would, you know, I've got, a, I've got an idea. Yeah, of course, I don't think it's fair to, to, to say that. I, I've said all along since I've come in, I want to give these players every chance. And today, I've been, I've been very impressed with, with what I've seen. I think someone like Zach, coming on in, in that area and looking at Amari, you know, we've got a lot of young players in the team now, and, and Zach showed today that he, he could be responsible and that he could um, defend because we're going to need that, and you need that when you're playing someone like Exeter. And so I've got. I've got a, a, a lot to look forward to with the way the players play today. Rafa's uh, deal is over. Do you know where you're going to go with him? I'm going to have a chat with Rafa now. Yeah, I'm going to have a have a, have a chat with Rafa and um, see how we take that forward. What's your feeling? Do you, do you want to keep him? I'm going to have a chat with him first, and then we'll, we'll see. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Cheers.